Today we're discussing how to pick a scent for any occasion. Let's talk about that. All right, guys. John here with Proverbs 27.9 Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. So we're talking about how to pick a fragrance for any occasion. And, um, you know, scent is something that is so personal. And you can really, uh, honestly, unless it is a cloying type of thing where, you know, some fragrances just get too sweet uh, to wear in the high heat. Other than that, really, you can wear any fragrance any time of the year on any type of day. But there are certain instances where I like to, uh, you know, kind of pick a certain style of fragrance for whether it's either spring, summer, winter, or fall, whether it's either daytime or evening. Uh, sometimes there's just good rainy day type of scents. Then you've got signature scents that you can wear all year round. And again, like I said, you know, really any fragrance, unless it just is a uh, type of issue where it makes you kind of sick or, you know, a little headache inducing. And that is something that happens with me. I was trying to think, I wore something the other day in the heat and I had to wash it off. It was just too much. And I believe, let me see what it was. I think it was, um, was it Oud for Glory? I'm, I'm not sure, but it was a, a rather strong, sweet fragrance and it was a really hot day and it gave me a headache. So, um, Hold on a second, I think I've... Sorry about that. So that can be an issue, okay? Uh, so, but let me talk first about signature scents. Signature style scents. A, a signature scent is just, it's the type of scent that when uh, people think of you, this is what you want to project. This is your favorite scent. It's one that you're in love with. Signature scent doesn't just need to be just a people-pleasing scent like, uh, let's see here, where is Sauvage, okay? Sauvage, um, this is the Eau de Parfum. This is my, my wife's favorite fragrance on me. And uh, this was my signature scent for a pretty good while. Um, before Sauvage, it was Aqua Degio Profumo. Now, for me, I can still use this one. This is one of my, what I consider my signature scents. For me, I don't like this one enough anymore to consider it a signature scent, although I do wear it a lot because my wife loves it. So to me, your signature scent needs to be something that it expresses your personality and, and, and you love it. It's got to be something that you love, you're excited about. So what I consider my signature scents, I already named Profumo, um, Guerlain Heritage um, is one that I really wear on special occasions. I don't, you know what, I, that's, I don't wear it enough to say it's my signature scent. You know, this is not one that people smell on me a lot, although I talk about it a lot and I really like it. One of them that I wear a lot is Aventus, Aventus style fragrances. Aventus is a great signature scent. Um, let's see here. I don't have a full uh, bottle. I just typically will keep, um, I don't even see my, it's probably on my desk. You know, I keep some Creed uh, samples here. I have a different opinion about Creed. Um, if you've ever read this book, you probably would too. But they, their fragrances, 
smell great. I just don't like to pay the price they want for um, basically designer fragrances. So, so I have a lot of um, Creed Aventus, you know, clones. Creed Aventus is a really good signature scent. Um, another one that I consider one of my signatures uh, would be this one from Guerlain, Lone Mediel Extreme. And I, I have four different Lone Mediels. Um, this is my favorite of the line, but I would say the EDT I wear more. So I'm gonna say the EDT is one of my signature scents. Uh, so the ones that I wear the most, Profumo, Lomidiel, EDT, and, and Aventus, um, Eau Sauvage, I wear that a lot, Zaharoff, Poron, and Tom Ford, Beau de Jour, that's my backup bottle. This has been the fragrance that I'm wearing the most uh, lately. All right, now let's talk about occasions. So spring scents, I like something that is um, citrusy and vibrant and fresh, kind of, uh, you know, um, got some herbal qualities, some floral qualities. One of my favorite spring scents is Eau Sauvage, the EDT. I think it has the best citrus, smoothest citrus blend in anything I've ever smelled. I love the, 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 the herbalness is toned down, but it's there, it kind of dances around. There's a beautiful jasmine note in the middle, as well as maybe some rose or something, but, but it's just, you can't really pick out the, the notes other than to me, jasmine says, it smells like honeysuckle. And then it has a very nice creamy, uh, kind of smooth um, vetiver. It's a soapy, clean vetiver really fresh bright clean soapy that's what i like to wear in the spring uh, signature citrine as well as a is a good one there i like to wear uh, dolce and gabbana pour home in the spring uh, this one doesn't this is not the sticker so it doesn't have the the strong tobacco note uh, that makes it a good spring fragrance for me um, Lo de Isai or on again citruses, florals, uh, musk, white musk, things like that. All right, summer, summer. I, I we'd love to go to the beach. I like to wear kind of tropical things in the summer. Um, things that's again kind of like the spring. A lot of citruses. Sometimes I like a floral, but what I'm looking more for in the high heat in the summer is I kind of like a little saltiness, a little tropical nature. Um, you know, something like the original, you know, cool water or green Irish tweed. Uh, that's a good one, but that can be a little bit cloying um, if you put it on too much. I think, uh, let's see here. There it is. Guerlain Pour Homme Low Boisse. An excellent spring or summer fragrance. This smells like you're standing in a, a nice lush lawn and you've got like a, a you know a tropical drink in your hand and it's it's warm. It's you know there's 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 lime in this, there's a some type of gin or some type of you know it's almost like uh, you know you're you're drinking a a sprite with some fresh limes cut up in it, standing in the grass. That's a great summer scent. Uh, anything uh, like silver water and birch, which is kind of a silver mountain water clone, light, fresh, airy, aquatic Mercedes Benz. For men, that's a good summertime. Anything that's just light, you don't want anything too heavy. 
Blue fragrances, sometimes you can get away with them as long as you're not just standing out in the heat. Um, John Barbados Artisan Blue, that's a good one. Uh, like Blue de Chanel or Missoni Poiron, those can be a little strong uh, for the heat of summer. So again, you're kind of wanting something really light. All right, we get, start getting into fall. I like to wear, start wearing more herbaceous, uh, maybe mixing in something with a tobacco note, something like Zeno by Davidoff. Um, Guerlain Heritage comes out a lot in the fall. Lalique, pour on. Start getting into the more classic stuff, the, the more classy uh, gentleman stuff. Uh, you know, the, the weather's a little cooler. Dolce & Gabbana, the one's a good one for the fall. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I didn't say this one, but Guerlain Ohm. Um, that's a great spring scent. I like to start wearing a lot of fougeres. I wear fougeres all throughout the year, uh, but I like to start wearing fougeres more again in the fall. Azaro, pour on. Clean, soapy, a little bit dark and mysterious. That anise note, really good for the fall. And then in the winter is when I like to wear sweet fragrances. The sweetness is sharp enough to jump out and cut through the cold. So when we're talking sweet, we're talking about, you know, things like Leighton, uh, Leighton Exclusive. Uh, we're talking about things like Mugler, Amen, which I think is one of the best fragrances ever made. Uh, we're talking about Versace Dylan Blue, probably my favorite blue fragrance. Really good, a little too sweet for the, the heat of summer, but that's the type of things I like to wear in the winter. Rich, you know, sweet, decadent. Gourmands, if you're gonna start getting anything kind of gourmandy, um, you know, Mercedes-Benz Club Black, uh, Malik White and Black, Spice Bomb Extreme. Things like that are really good for the winter. Now, um, wood fragrances like, you know, leather and woods go really good together. Bottega Veneta Parfum. This is a good year-round evening fragrance. Something like this. Something like Jaguar for Men Privé. Another really good, um, oh, cap is not good. Really good, woody, kind of aromatic, spicy, kind of fragrance you can wear year round, but more for the evenings. Uh, that's kind of what I like leather fragrances, you know, for. Um, daytime year round fragrances, uh, again, for instance, uh, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. A lot of people love this in the summertime. I think it's fine in the summertime. I love it in the winter. I, I, this is one of my favorite Christmas fragrances to wear. Not sure why. It just reminds me of Christmas time. Uh, again, here is um, Al Hermain Amber Oud Tobacco Edition, which is a, their version of Tobacco Vanille. This would be considered a, a more of a winter Christmas time fragrance, but it's one I can wear uh, year round in the at night. So evening time, um, if it's not too cloying for the heat. Oh Lord, I'm just making a mess. If it's not too cloying for the heat, uh, you kind of get away with your winter fall fragrances in the evenings. Um, daytime office scents would be one other one other uh, you know genre. Anything that's mass appealing, any of the blue fragrances. If you're inside the air conditioner, uh, you can wear any Ambroxan heavy, you know Sauvage, Dylan Blue, Versace Eros, 
Um, anything like that. Cool Water Parfum is a really good uh, office scent. Uh, you can get away with that as a, as a spring or summertime signature scent too. Uh, but just anything that's mass appealing. You don't want any funky notes in your office scents. You don't want anything that's, you know, got a he real heavy oak moss or real heavy leather. Um, anything real animalic. You don't want those type of notes because they can really disturb the people around you. You want to just be clean, you know, soapy, clean, fresh. You know, something a cheapy like like this right here is, is a great office scent. Another cheapy CKB. Something that you're not going to offend anybody, but you're going to smell great. And there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of cheapies uh, in that genre, you know, Ferragamo, F Black. That's a great office scent, cheapy, 20 bucks, you know, something like that. So that's kind of how I look at it and um, kind of how I, you know, choose my scent of the day or whatever. And hey, there's a lot of great, a lot of great cheapies up here. Bogart Pour On. That was my scent of the day a couple of days ago. That's a real good... Uh, it's got a little bit of a synthetic quality to it, uh, but it goes away after it starts to dry down. Really fresh, clean, kind of spicy, kind of uh, mass appealing. Um, got a, You know, it's got a, a real unique DNA to it and uh, doesn't cost much and you're gonna smell a little bit different than everybody else, so. All right, guys, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about that. And um, if you're wondering why I'm on the video, I've never showed you know my face on a video before. It's not because I'm embarrassed or anything. Um, I, I have other YouTube channels where I am on camera. I do a reading through the Bible, daily Bible reading video at um, a year through the word. So you can look that up and I read through the Bible every single day. Uh, but when I started my fragrance channel, I just wanted to do it a little bit different. But I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing this. Um, I went for a year and, um, you know, I'm trying to trim down my collection. I wanna kind of weed out things that I'm not in love with. And I don't wanna just keep buying fragrances over and over again. Uh, so I'm not sure how much longer I'll be going. So I kind of wanted to come on screen to just to kind of let my average, you know, daily watchers know, you know, be able to see me and just, you know, say hi and things of that nature. So, um, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And until we see you down the road, I say God bless and frag on frag fam.